All right, Skyhook Garage here with another uh, video for you. This is part of my 101 series. I'm going to start showing you guys theory and operation of certain components and common failure issues. So what I have here is an electronic throttle body. This one's specifically out of a 2005 Volvo S60 R motor, I believe it was. So Volvo specifically have a lot of throttle body problems, but um, basically I'm going to show you a couple things that are an issue on this and why these fail to begin with. So typical throttle body, got your butterfly valve that opens there. So the lookups and information tell you never to move these throttle plates with uh, out the vehicle actually doing the movement of it, but it's disconnected, it's apart, it's not a big deal. All it is is once it's disconnected, you got typical springs holding the throttle release back. So a couple things, when they fail, as you can see down in that tube there, you got a little bit of light coming through at either end. You still have a little bit of spring pressure that keeps this valve open at normal release so if the motor's not turning anything it's still sitting there a little bit open so when they go into fail safe mode they stop working they crack open the valve a little bit and you still have like an idle home feature going on so with the innards of this this is the cover here comes off all right couple clips goes on like that cover comes off then you have your main drive gear that comes off of the dc motor 12 volt dc motor back and forth drive gear sits on top gets driven, drives the uh, secondary gear here, and then underneath secondary gear right here will grab your throttle plate gear. So, very basic concept. When it's in, DC motor turns it one way, valve opens, DC motor turns it back. Also helps, the spring helps it come back. All right, so you pop that guy out of the way, and then you can get a good view of your primary gear here on the throttle plate. So, with this guy here, you have potentiometers all right you got your little tabs here little black end tabs there they're contacts for the potentiometer which is this guy right here so the sweeps go back and forth on this you get voltage readings that come in one side but come in one side get read where the position of it is on that throttle plate and then they'll be fed back out the other side as, as a uh, feedback input so a computer sends a reading in Reading gets read through the potentiometer, comes back out to the computer, tells the computer where the throttle plate is. You have two sweeps here, one set here, one set there. It could even be the other way around. You might have this one feeds that one, that one feeds this one, but they're always in pairs. And uh, they use double redundancy here to make sure that if there's an issue with one of them, it checks, double checks it with the other one because electronic throttle is not having a cable to it. It's important that things are working properly. So one, that's basically how they work sits here, moves back and forth, contacts rub against the potentiometer as it opens and closes, and that's about all it is. Computer commands it open to a certain spot, it goes to it on the potentiometer, reads it on the computer, and then it says, okay, I'm where I'm supposed to be. So that's how they work in a nutshell. Like I said before, you don't want to turn the plate if it's plugged into the car. You're going to send different feedbacks through to the computer. It's probably not going to be an issue, but it's always great not to try doing that. So failure items. First off, you can see the inside of this guy. It's full of oil and residue. Came from the uh, breather system probably, or could even be turbo seals leaking. Comes up into the main body here, feeds itself through the uh, shaft on the plate there and makes its way into here. My thought was when I first looked at this was that the contacts here, as you can see right there, all that black gunky shit going on there. I thought that was the issue, but the more that I looked into it, I saw that the problem was really that gunk right there is probably just some lubricant that keeps it from uh, you know wearing excessively because that plates constantly working back and forth against them so we wipe that clean sometimes you can see where it's been worn in too hard on this potentiometer you can see spots because what happens is when you're full throttle to no throttle you know the, the throttle opens up and it closes real smoothly. But when you're going down the highway and you keep your foot steady on the throttle, those potentiometers are basically just sitting there and they're doing they're doing this wiggle action right in one spot. So they don't, because you're not moving the throttle much, trying to keep it right there. So what you can see is sometimes they'll wear a line in there where they've been resting, but I don't really see any issues with that. Generally with the Volvo throttle bodies, that's the problem I see most. So if that's not the issue, set that down. Obviously the oil, again, as you see, the oil's in there and the gasket's all egged out. You try putting the gasket back in, it's not even close to the right size, primarily because of oil residue soaking that thing and swelling it. So that's already trash. The real issue is, if you look right down there at that gear, 
you can see right about here that it looks like it's missing some teeth. And then if you think it is, then, well, it actually is. It is missing teeth right at that stop there. So we look at this guy next, and you can see, it might be a little bit harder to see, but right about there on these teeth, you can see it's got a nice groove from there to there. And you can see that the tooth is worn down. It shouldn't be worn down in the middle. If you move around to one that doesn't get worked too much, see some of these are worn down a bit more between there and there. But what ends up happening is when that gear is worn too excessively, see how much that moves without even starting to move that, that uh, primary throttle plate one? So that, that is a result of those worn teeth on that throttle plate gear. So you can see it starts moving it, then you come back and you got all this negative space right here. Even a little bit right there, not so much. Oh, look at that, and jammed right there. Now we have a ton of excessive movement. So even though this motor is gonna turn on, turn this gear and it's eventually gonna get that throttle going, it knows that when the computer says, hey, turn the throttle plate and you get a little bit of a lag in there, it's gonna start throwing codes because it thinks it should be moving, doesn't see it move right away, and then it throws error codes. As soon as you throw error codes for the throttle body, you go into limp mode, you're gonna have no throttle response because the computer doesn't wanna do something that's wrong. It's worried about doing something wrong. So in the best case scenario, it's just not gonna do anything at all. Spring pressure brings you back to a little bit of a cracked opening and you get that like just off idle to get you off the highway type feel. Clear the codes, you might be able to drive it again until it starts crapping out. So those are some big common problems with these. That's the electronic throttle body in a nutshell. Not too complicated. There's really not much more to these from uh, manufacturer to manufacturer. And be honest with you, most companies source their products from two or three different manufacturers. This is a Bosch throttle body for the Volvos. Bosch also makes, makes all the throttle bodies for GM and a bunch of other companies. So you're still gonna see the same problems even if you change manufacturers. So thanks for watching. Definitely check out the rest of my videos. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you post them. And uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to start doing some more of these 101s. That way to give you guys more of a reason to keep watching. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe, and I'll keep posting videos. Thanks, guys.